Hi everyone. We've been talking about the farm and some animals that live on the farm. And this week we're going to talk about cows. And we're going to make this lovely cow headband today. And I have a picture, oh, I have a drawing of a cow. And I just wanted you, this is a one type of cow. There are some cows that are all brown, there are some cows that are all black. There are some cows that are have brown spots. Um, this type of cow has is white with the black spots. And as you see, I, even though I'm calling them spots, they're not all round and like big dots or whatever. They're all different shapes. And so we're going to be doing that today on ours and they're Holstein cows that we're doing today. Um, and so I'm going to put him aside for right now. And then later today, we're going to read a story called Click, Clack, Type, Moo, Cows That Type. Kind of silly, but anyway, let's get back to what we're going to do today. In our bag, you're going to find two strips of white cardstock, and you're going to find a piece of black construction paper, a piece of white paper, and a piece of pink construction paper. Those are the things that you need out the bag. And then the other things that you need <clears throat> are a pair of scissors, a glue stick. If you have a stapler, that helps. If you don't have a stapler, um, tape would work, okay? So, oh, and you need to have some kind of marker. Oh, I'm sorry, one other thing on that piece of paper that we still have in here that has that's getting smaller and smaller all the time we have what it looks like now is this We're going to use this one today, which says cow ear cut two. That's for the headband. So let's go ahead and cut this. Put this guy back in the bag that says goat ear. We're going to use that another week. Put him back in, and then we have what we're going to need. And while we're talking about things that are going back into the bag, I want you to take your black piece of construction paper. I want you to fold it in half this way. I want you to cut down the line where you just folded it. If you are a little toddler and you aren't cutting yet, Whoever is with you that's older can cut this for you. You want to put part of this back in the bag. That's for a later week also. So now we have a smaller piece of black paper, the white paper, the pink paper, and the white strip. So the way we're going to start this is if you had tape, you would tape this. We have a glue stick, so we're going to glue this. If you didn't want to do the glue stick, you could staple this together. Sometimes the staples can get stuck in hair. Oh, no, not that. So sometimes the glue is the easiest. So you would just glue one, the edge of one side and then put the other on so it's like this. Now you have one long rectangle. 
So you're going to put that aside for right now. Um, and you're going to take, we're going to put these over here for a minute. And we're going to take our black one and we're going to make our spots. We're not going to draw our spots. We're just going to practice cutting. And as you saw, well, as you see here, they're different shapes. If you look at mine, they're different shapes. If you look at this guy, they're different shapes. So you can have some big ones, you can have some small ones, you can have some round ones if you want. That's whatever you decide to cut. And so I'm going to take mine and I'm going to make a squiggly one first. So I'm just going to just go like this. I have one spot. Now I'm going to make a spot that will come right, I think I've got one right here maybe. I can kind of feel it where it's lined up on the bottom of my thing. And so I'm going to use an edge. And I already know that I'm going to be putting this on the edge of mine. Okay, I've got two, and I still have all this paper. So I'm just going to keep doing that. I'm going to make little shapes. And then I'm going to make one more in this shape, piece right here. And I can use part that I've already cut. So I'm just doing this. Cutting off those little pieces. And I don't want it on the edge this time. I want to put it up. So now I have five shapes to glue on my headband. I'm going to put my paper over here for later. And now I have this, and so I'm going to just place my shapes, my spots, at different places. And then, as I've always said, we glue the small piece onto the big piece. So we're going to glue our, sp our spots. Press it down so it dries flat because in a few minutes, we're going to be taking this and turning this rectangle into a big circle that's going to go around our head. We're going to let that sit for a minute so it gets a better chance to like adhere or stick together before we turn it into a big circle. And what we're going to do now is we're going to work on the ears. So you take your white paper and you fold it in half this way. We don't want it to go long, skinny way. We want it to be shorter and wider. And this is also very good, a very good chance to practice your eye-hand coordination and lining things up. So we line it up, we match the corners, the edges, and then we flatten it. So we have two pieces. And we're going to take this guy. And if you want a lot of practice cutting, you can go ahead and cut the shape out. If you don't want to have a lot of practice cutting, you can have uh, whoever is with you that's helping you, that's a little older and knows how to cut a little faster, cut this out for you. And when I said that we wanted two of them, why do you think we want two of them? We have two ears, and so do the cows. So, we have our paper, it's folded in half, so it will give us two. We take our little shape, we put it down here, and either you can practice tracing it, or you can have your older friend who is with you today, trace it for you. And by tracing, we're just following the pen, or in this case, marker, 
around the shape. So we're getting that shape right there and that shows us what we want to cut. This is very thin paper, so it's very easy to cut through both pieces at the same time and that way you get ears that are the same. And now we have two white ears. And if you look at mine, there's pink on the inside. And so that's what we're going to use our pink for. We're going to fold this the same way we did the other one. So it is wide like this. And we're going to take this thing and we're going to ask the grown-up to help us a, a little bit again. And we're going to downsize this by just going around, following it in, and doing this. We're just going in about a half an inch all the way around. So we have the exact same shape, only a little thinner. Now all of this can get recycled, okay? And we're going to take this, which is thinner, smaller, but the same shape as the white. We're going to make, we're going to trace that on our pink, and we're going to do the same thing that we did with the white. We're going to go ahead and cut around the edge so we have two pink ears. So now you have the two pink inner parts of the ear. So we're going to put the ears together now. And we're going to glue the smaller one, which is the pink one. And because it's the exact same shape as our white one, we're going to put it exactly where in the middle of the white one. And we're going to line up the bottom and press it in. Make sure you press it down. One done. So now we're just going to attach, put it all together. The first thing we want to do is we're going to make this the same size as your head. Now my head is a little bit bigger than your head is because I'm an old woman, I'm grown up. So if my head was the same size as your head or well, my big body, it might look a little odd. So anyway, we want this to go around your head like this. And so the grown-up that is with you is going to put it around your head and you will have extra. So say, say you are young, you're two or three, and you have all this extra. What you're going to be doing is taking a staple, stapler or tape and you're going to fit it so when it comes down on your head, so it, if it's too small, it'll sit up on the top like this and it'll fall over when you're moving around. So you want to get it so it fits your head so it'll come down like that so you can move and it's not going to fall off because you're going to play and be a cow later, right? Yeah. So you want this to fit your head. So you get the size that is the size of your head and you can either staple very quickly, one at the top, one at the bottom. And then what you're going to do for the ears is you're going to bend it in just a little. Like this. So you see how I've bend it so like the white part bends in almost to where this pink is so it, you can still see the pink part and it's not matching. You don't want it to be like folded over and then you wouldn't see the pink at all. So you're going to staple or scotch tape that just once to help keep it that shape. 
and you're going to do the exact same thing on this guy. Just bend it over a little bit. So it's kind of like this. See how I got the white coming over to where the pink is? And I'm going to staple this. And so now all I have to do is when I'm putting them on the sides of my head, <laughs> I'm going to make sure that um, I've got the smaller part going up at the top. So here's my band. And when I put it on, I'm going to go, I'm going to, first I'm going to look and I'm going to decide what part of this do I want everyone to see out front? And I think that this looks pretty good. So I'm going to attach these on either side of the head. And you just use a stapler again. And maybe two staples will be good enough. So then you've got you go, okay, well now, Miss Mary, where do I put my other ear? Well, would I put it here? No, because then I've got an ear coming out of the front of my forehead. I'm going to move it right across to the other side and put it right up like I had the other one. It's not, you'll see it's not right at the top. It's just down just a little bit. So it's not on the top of the head. And then we just staple it in there again. And now you have your cow headband that you can wear and pretend that you're a cow too. Come back and read with me. See you. Welcome back everyone. Now that we've just made our cow headband, we're going to read a story about some very different cows. And this is called Click Clack Moo Cows That Type. I've never heard of a cow that could type before. Let's find out what this is about. And our story is by Doreen Cornyn. Farmer Brown has a problem. His cows like to type. All day long he hears click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo, clickety, clack, moo. Does Farmer Brown look very happy? At first, he couldn't believe his ears. Cows that type? Impossible! Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. Then he couldn't believe his eyes. Dear Farmer, Brown. The barn is very cold at night. We'd like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. What? Well, it was bad enough the cows had found the old typewriter in the barn. Now they wanted electric blankets? No way, said Farmer Brown. No electric blankets blankets. So the cows went on strike and they left a note on the barn door. Sorry, we're closed. No milk today. And can you see Farmer Brown's shadow? It looks like he's going The next day, he got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold too. 
made like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. Here's from a brown reading note. Here's a cow and the chickens. Hmm, what's he gonna say now? The cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a new note on the barn door. Closed. No milk. No eggs. No eggs, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo, clickety, clack. Brown's not getting any milk, and he's not getting any eggs. This is bad news for a farmer. Cows at type, hands on strike. Who ever heard of such a thing? How can I run a farm with no milk and no eggs? Farmer Brown was furious. Brown got out his own typewriter. Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. Well, Duck was a neutral party. So he brought the ultimatum to the cows. And by a neutral party, that means he was in the middle of this mess. He wasn't on the cows and the chicken side, and he wasn't on Farmer Brown's side. He wasn't demanding an electric blanket. So he's going to be the messenger. Well, the cows held an emergency meeting. All of the animals gathered around the barn to snoop but none of them could understand moo. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. So here's the other animals waiting to, trying to find out what the cows are talking about. You have the donkey, and the pig, and the cat, and the dog, and the sheep. Well, Duck knocked on the door early the next morning. And he handed Farmer Brown a note. Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn door and we will send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. Well, Farmer Brown decided this was a good deal. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Duck to come with the typewriter. So look, the cows have electric blankets and the chickens have an electric blanket and they're all staying nice and warm at night time. And the next day, he got a note. Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We'd like a diving board. Sincerely, the ducks. Click, quack, quack. Click, quack, quack. Clickety, quack, quack. And they got one. I've never heard of farm animals typing, but it happened here. See you.